Oh, oh, dude, if you ever go to Q2's place, it just has Mewtwo and Sonic written all over the place. Well, no Mewtwo's or Sonic in this next game. Squander that Squad right. Luck versus FXCFW's Shokyo. I have seen this matchup between these two so many times, and it's always interesting. It goes both ways. Um, if Shokyo ever feels like Zero Suit's not cutting it, he'll switch to Olimar. It's just as close as this matchup. These two have a bit of a rivalry, actually. Uh, I remember when I first started commenting, Luck would uh, get the upper hand on Shokyo pretty heavy-handedly, and Shoka has actually been able to pull uh, a series of wins in these past couple of weeks against Lux. Oh, yeah. Shokyo's been getting so much better lately in the past couple of months. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know if Zeus who got buffed or Shokyo's mindset just got way better, but I am really happy with his progress. Well, I remember uh, it was Shokyo and Infinity doing some commentary together, and this was the beginning of 2015. And he was like, do you have any New Year's resolutions? He's like, well, one of them is I want to be a, a top player in our area, and he has certainly achieved that goal. I, I remember when I was first getting into the scene, my goal was to break like the top 100 in Texas. And then a year later, I'm breaking top 10 in the biggest scene in Texas. And I'm just like, what? We take those? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Now, this matchup, I honestly don't know if there's anyone who has a specific edge. Both of these characters combo this knot out of each other. I think Zero Suit likes this particular wave. Shokyo's definitely learned how to edge guard Diddy pretty well. She plays with a banana. Um, let's see what he does off of this. I feel like Shokyo has some really nasty combos after that off of that down smash, and Luck has some really nasty combos off off of the peel. So yeah. one thing that I, I really look for whenever I look at them two playing is how often is peel a factor and how often is down smash a factor? Because generally, if you can count more times that Luck, Luck gets knockdowns than he gets stunned by the down smash, then he comes out on top. Hmm. I grab, look, avoiding that down smash is super critical. Yeah. Oh, here we go, here we go. Give him a little one, two. I'm just watching him go ham right now. Oh my gosh, he like read the snot out of that uh, up B. He caught it super early. And he almost got that back air as well, but luck. Did you see that real? Did it look like, did he come teleported for like a split second? Like one frame? Maybe maybe my contacts are playing tricks on me. I don't know. Okay. It was just like a very awkward angle, I think, with the, uh, the jetpack. Maybe. I love those DBZ moments where both players are like on the opposite sides of the screen trying to recover. Did you ever punch somebody so hard? When they Ooh. punched you really hard? But so far, the peel doesn't seem to be as much of a factor, right? Yeah. See, it really feels like Shokyo's done a good job of getting around it and at times even mitigating it. Right there, though, being utilized perfectly by Luck. That edge guard was exactly what he needed to maybe start getting a little bit of momentum on his side. But Shokyo, I up love his usage of the nares so far as well. Oh, keep popping him up. Great shielding there from Luck. Every time I watch Shokyo play against a fastballer or a semi-fastballer, I look for that up tilt. As soon as he gets that up tilt in, oh my gosh, something's about to happen. If he gets an up tilt or a late up air, oh, that banana probably saved Lux's life right there. That would have been a free back air. Oh man, Ooh, there's a the bear regardless, up throw bear. I don't know if he could have DI'd that. But, hey, game one goes to Shokyo. He's got that smile on his face. He's Why like, did game one go to Shokyo? Like, I mean, it, it felt like it was it was close at first, and then Shokyo started running away with it. I think Shokyo simply won the neutral game more times because Luck really just gets it. He gets his momentum going with the banana if he can get something started. The banana doesn't really play as big a factor in the neutral because Shokyo's character is naturally fast and just picks it up. Look at those up tilts. Look at those up tilts. 44%. Okay. Could have been bigger. Could have been bigger. All right. Luck has some up tilts of his own, though. And a great call out with that up smash. Let's see. Does he need this banana? Okay. So, Luck's favorite thing to do as soon as he knocks someone off stage is refresh that banana. Wow, that forward smash is so busted. <laughs> Dude, Zero Suit's broken, okay? Everyone knows it, but oh, yeah, people on the boards are too afraid to say it, I swear. <laughs> great up smash coming out from Luck. Man, I didn't even play Brawl. And every time I see Diddy Kong just like peanut throw banana off stage. I just think of what Brawl must have been like. It must have been so crazy. I would have hated fighting Diddy Kong, actually. Oh, but yeah? It is so much more exciting to fight in this game because it's fast. 3.02 Diddy Kong, though. Oh, uh, uh, That's scary. Sorry, you uttered some That's pretty a double gross trouble. Words. That's a double trouble right there. Oh, man. I'm so happy I got into the scene around double trouble times. Oh, my gosh. Okay. 
That that down B into an aerial kick, that catches me off guard every time. And I think it happens with a lot of people. Shokyo uses it so sparingly that he just nabs people with it all the time. This is one thing that we've seen uh, from Lux that's kind of changed. At the beginning of this game, he was playing very reactionary on Tech Chase, but now that the percent is so high on Shok, he's playing very uh, read-oriented. He's going for a lot of these harder reads, and Shok is actually putting on more damage because of it. You think so? Hmm. Yeah, you'll notice that, especially when it comes to S-Matches. He's just throwing them out a lot. I guess, I, I guess, a lot. Of, he's like throwing them out much more preemptively. Yeah, I can see that. Luck is trying to probably play around the banana a lot. As soon as he puts that banana somewhere, he's going to start throwing out hitboxes near it. Yeah. If he's going to put pressure on Chokyo to move around a lot, and he's going to try and see if he can get him to slip up on that banana. That's what I'm assuming Luck is going for. I'm not a Diddy Kong player. All right. There's a banana there. He's going to see if he can play safely around it. But Shokyo, he's content to hop over and use that Nair. He's been utilizing that Nair as uh, part of his combo sequences to force Luck into these corners. I know. Zero Suit's movement is so godlike. Oh, my God. Dude, Zero Suit, to me, is like one of the scar scariest characters to approach because... Excuse me? Yeah, that had to be a flip. It had to be a flip because there's no way he thought that like, Diddy could go under the stage or something. Man, Shokyo's actually looking pretty awesome right now. I think Luck can bring this back if he gets a little bit of momentum, but to be honest, Shokyo's trying to keep a hold of all that momentum. He's being a momentum hog right now. Oh, this is maybe where things change for Luck. This is Great Luck's moment of truth. Coming out. Dude, this is, this is to stay in the game. I mean, sometimes he has those those moments, right? Where he just like hits you with one banana peel and you pray to God his controller breaks or Dude, something. Luck randomly decides to be a god. Ugh. Oh my god, banana forward air. What did I say? Dude, people always say fair, but I'm just like, that's unfair. Please, help my stock. It's unfair, not fun fair. Oh, dude, the fun fair? The fun fair, man. The fun fair. Oh no, the oh chain my grabs god. on a moving platform. Take you from one side to the other, but Shokyo coming out just short on the fair. Nice there. Oh There's my god. Down again. Okay, we, we're Look, alive. We're still here. And so smart going to the platform, but Shokyo so no, quick. Though. Okay. Perhaps that forward throw could have killed if he had had poor DI on it. Good okay, Lux looking for his banana. All right, the banana's in the middle of the stage. You got up tilted. Oh no! Rip. 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 We oh. What? Okay, never mind. We ain't deep gone. That ain't 3.0. Woo! That could was he not really side cool beat set? after that? He could not because he already side beat once true. and got hit out of it. Um, this is true. That's actually a pretty smart nerf that they made to Diddy Kong because being able to have a refreshing side B, it's basically like getting your double jump back over and over and exactly. over again. Exactly, exactly. It's something kind of silly in Smash 4 because that was one of the reasons why Diddy Kong was godlike in Smash 4 in the beginning because his recovery was just unstoppable. Every time you tried to hit him away, he just side beat again. And then he went Deep Kong and um, the hoo-ha was just like his kill factor. Killing Diddy in and of itself was a task. Um, 